You can probably hear a lawnmower in the background right now. But what are you gonna do? Stop it from cutting the grass? We cut our grass too much, hacking it back all the time. We've got this ideal that grass should be short. Let parts of your grass grow. Let some wildflowers take over. It's so much better for the uh, for the environment, for the um, the ecosystem of your garden. You'll get loads of like really important uh, pollinators that will come if you leave that patch of grass to grow a little bit longer. And I know we're talking about sourdough, but like, also wildflowers are really important. So that's the benefit of that auto lease um, by just mixing the flour and the water together and leaving them for a three, sometimes four hours. By leaving it for a while in that auto lease stage, you've got this really fantastic stretch already uh, before even having to do anything like um, the lamination process that we're going to do um, or anything else. Uh, so we have the Levan and we have the auto leased uh, dough in there, um, all sort of incorporated and mixed together. A good tip for that when you mix it all in because it'll be really sticky because um, that gluten still sort of not developed. Uh, have a little bowl of water just to sort of moisten your hands uh, and dimple it in and then that'll stop it uh, completely clinging to you. That is now mixed. We've only hydrated this to about 60% just over. Um, the reason for that is that we're gonna be adding a little bit more liquid throughout the process um, for various different sort of stages. Um, so it is probably a little bit drier than you might expect for a sourdough right now, but that's not a problem. Um, we're gonna be, as I say, uh, sort of using a, a spray um, to do some lamination things. It's gonna add more uh, liquid to there. We've also got the seeds that are in a soaker that also have a bit more uh, liquid in there and then there's the salt to act, add which we're going to dissolve uh, in water as well. So there is going to be more hydration uh, to this um, uh, ultimately. But right now all we're doing is leaving it for half an hour. Um, we don't want to incorporate the salt just yet because all um, that will do is just sort of slow down uh, the uh, uh, the Levan, um, sort of spreading and inoculating the entire dough, because um, uh, salt kills things like bacteria um, uh, and yeasts and all those kind of things, which is what we've been spending so much time developing uh, with the starter and then the Levan. So hold off on the salt just for the time being. Like I said, 30 minutes um, and then we'll be able to put that salt in um, and uh, start all the stretching and the folding, which is gonna develop uh, this incredible uh, structure. I get these really bloody annoying bits of dough that like attach to my little hairs on my hands. And it's like really, you can see it, bloody painful. Like getting them off is impossible. It's like just these little bits of, I assume it's gluten. So yeah, I could shave my hands. I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. 